So, we understood that what is Newton's law of gravitation and what is the formula. Now, apply that knowledge for solving these two example problems. The first example, there are two bodies of masses m and 2m separated by distance r and the force acting between them is f, say f. Now, the mass m changes to 3m, 2m changes to 6m by keeping the distance constant. Then what is the new force f dash? This is the question. So, start writing the Newton's law of gravitation formula f equal to g m1 m2 by r square. So, m into 2m by r square. This is equation 1. Now, equation 2 f dash new force. The new force has arrived because mass changes to 3m. So, g instead of m, I will write 3m into instead of 2m, I write 6m because 2m changes to 6m by same distance r square equation 2. Now, if equation 2 f dash by f equation 2 by equation 1, then what happens? g 3m 6m by r square whole divided by this f g m 2m by r square. Now, if you start simplifying this, this fraction reverse as it is in denominator. So, r square r square cancelled and then you left with g 3m 6m by g m 2m. Now, you see z z m m m m cancelled you got uh, 2 3 6 9 if you simplify. So, the answer is I am writing here implies f dash equals to 9 into f. So, what it says? So, the new force is 9 times the old force f. So, this is the how you can solve numerical by applying the law of gravitation. Now, go to the second example. So, in this example, there is an earth having mass 10 24 kg at the center and there is one, one more massive body of mass 1 kg on the surface of the earth. Now, the question is what is the force acting on the mass 1 kg? So, apply the law of gravitation similarly f equal g m 1 m 2 by r square g m 1 m 2 by r square and g value you know 6.67 in 24 minus 11 we just land in the area and mass m1 1 kg mass m2 10 24 kg by the radius 6400 kilometers kilometers 10 cube whole square equals to now you need to simplify this whole the ratio so let me give some help to simplify 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 24. So, this is uh, 13 by 10 cube into 2 10 power 6 into 6400 square. Now, if you full simplify it, you will get the answer. Now, I am not telling the answer to you. You solve it and find the answer for this example numerical. Now, you are going to relate two g's, small g and capital G. Small g you already know, capital G is just learned. So, small g is acceleration due to gravity and capital G universal gravitational constant right now how do we relate these two g's see this diagram here there is a mass of m on the surface of the earth you know that all the objects on the earth experiences gravitational force by the earth and this gravitational force is also called weight of the body so this body is also having weight and the weight formula is mass into acceleration due to gravity mg this is the weight of the body. This weight is also equals to force of gravitation. But according to 
Newton's law of gravitation, we understand that F equals to G M1 M2 by R square. Apply this formula to this diagram. And this formula changes to G capital M small m by capital R square. What all this? M1 is the mass of the earth. Mass of the earth is capital M. M2 mass of the body small m. R square radius of the earth. So this is law of gravitation. This is weight of the body. But both are same. Law of gravitation and weight of the body. Because law of gravitation says this is the force by the earth. Weight is also force by the earth. So 1 and 2 are same. So let me equate them. So mg equals to g capital M small m by r square. So small m small m is cancelled. So what you got g equal to g m by r square. So this is the relationship between small g and capital G g equal g m by r square ok all of us know that the g value is 9.8 meters per second square now let us reprove that g is 9.8 meters per second square but how it is using this formula see small g equal to capital g value just now we have learned 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 into capital m mass of the earth it is approximately 6 into 10 power of 24 by r radius of the earth radius of the earth is 6400 kilometers whole square if you simplify a whole this number and the fraction and you'll get 9.81 meters per second square exact number 9.81 so this shows that what we found experiment 9.81 meters square we got the same value using this mathematical formula. So hence, G equal to GM by R square is the correct relationship between small g and capital G. We have discussed about equations of motion in a straight line path in the previous chapter called motion chapter. In that chapter, we discussed three equations, V equal to U plus AT, S equal to U2 plus half AT square, V square minus U square to 2 AS. These three equations can also be applicable in freely falling body because freely falling body is a straight line motion but the only thing the difference is it is falling downwards and we know that it is falling downwards because of earth gravity so therefore there are some conditions for this case and these conditions can be applicable to the equations of motion so let me write equations of motions first v equal to u plus at S equal to ut plus half at square, v square minus u square equal to 2as. So these are the equations of motion. Now what are the conditions for freely falling body? See, when the body falls freely at the highest point, it has initial velocity 0. When it hits the ground, the final velocity is v. And the height traveled is h. And it's as falling down, its acceleration is acceleration due to gravity, g. Now apply these conditions to these equations. How this equation transforms? See, v equal to u plus at implies v equals to 0 plus gt implies it is called t equal to v by g. t equal to v by g. This is the formula you got. Next. S is nothing but height traveled, which is h, u is 0, so ut is 0 plus half at square, means half gt square implies h equals to half gt square. Now, third equation, v square minus 0 equal to 2gh implies v equals to root over 2gh. If you see, we have just applied these conditions to these three equations and we got three, three different formulae. And this is very much useful when you want to calculate uh, speed of the body, initial speed, final speed, time taken in freely falling body cases. So let us see how can we apply these formulas to solve 
numericals in this case. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.